Hello there, and uh, this chapter is uh, another chapter of GSX Level 2 Tutorials by Cartagena Files, and we are back again to Los Angeles by FS Dream Team, and we are going to learn now how to do, I'm going to slow, slow the speed anymore, okay, now we're going to learn how to do logos, okay, it's a pretty simple method once you get the hang of it, and for this you only need two things you need uh, I like to use the paint 3d software from uh, default software from Windows 10 but if you want to use another one go ahead this this is the one I know how to use and I'm not gonna learn anymore so uh, you also need Google and uh, that's about it you don't need any more now what we what um, Umberto and the and the guys from FS Dream Team is asking us are asking us to do is we need to get an image that is one by four that means the scale is one by four that's the first requirement and the other requirement in order to get a new white texture for example you should get a transparent logo okay we're going to learn about this in a minute now when you want to let's say this is los angeles this is the logo i created for this version 5 cartagena file and uh, what I did is I went to Google and I, to to uh, and I typed Los Angeles Airport logo transparent and PNG. OK, those are the magic words. OK, these ones. Now, if you go ahead and search, you will get this result. You go to images and then you see these pictures here that have uh, uh, black, uh, gray and white dots. That means it's transparent some of them are not and and you're going to find out when they are and when they're not when you open the paint 3d okay you're going to tell them that you want to have a let me see which is the right one no okay no 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 here it is okay now on this option here in spanish is length i don't know you said in english but it's this option right there you're going to ask him to you're going to block this two before you do this you're going to ask him to put 4,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. That means it's four by one, okay? You block these two things and then you can zoom in and we're going to download this image. I'm gonna save it right here. And what I do in my case, which is, I think I've worked around this issue of logos and I did approximately 500 already and in order for your GSX configuration not to be a mess, the customizer, the customization, or whatever you want to call it, customization, um, you see all the area where you have logos. You see, I have all these tons of logos already created. So if you're going to end up with a lot of logos, you might just as well want to create a good structure for them. So what I've done is I've added the word airline if it's an airline logo ads if I add an advertisement which is something I do in my files and uh, or in the files to come because this is a work I've been doing for the last two months or so prior to the release of GSX level 2 version 2.6 as to have this whole ton of logos created for you guys for the feature releases of Cartagena files and then I also have the airport word ahead of it. Okay, those are the three categories of logos I've created. And um, so once I download the file, I'm going to say airport You always need to have this between the words between otherwise it would not work once you add it to GSX. Okay. Los Angeles and oops okay and what I do before this I always add the ICAO which is uh, KLAX okay now why this because it's so much easier first of all we're all accustomed to this uh, four letters and it also makes it easier to locate the the, the airport because if you end up like me with 500 logos, you, you, you want to have a pretty good system 
on how to look for one because otherwise you go crazy. Now, that's the, the name I would give and I would say uh, JPG, per perfect. In this case, it's JPG. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try, okay? It should be PNG, but let's try. And so now here, once we've already created the canvas, we've activated the option, these two options here. This one right here says it's transparent, okay? So we're going to insert what we just downloaded and okay it's on uh, what a third here it is okay now you see it's a jpg and that's if it, this would be transparent those uh, checkbox uh, of uh, gray and white would also be transparent so now i know this is not going to work so we're going to have to look for another logo within this description that is really a PNG okay there's a you say that's the name of it and we're going to get the same name okay Los Angeles PNG okay we're going to save it and now we're going to insert it okay there you go you see now it's transparent so now you're going to scale this to the right proportion that you wish and you're going to end up with a logo that is going to be good for GSX. Now, I want to make it, yeah, that looks about it. Okay, now I'm going to save it. Save as image. I save it on this folder that means they're ready to go. And first of all, I'm going to go like this to type the name. And I'm just going to save it here, okay? Saved. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the logo that I already have for GSX. Now, this is something very important. That where are the logos saved? Do you know where it's on the same folder as your INI files? And um, here you have a folder called Texture, and you have a Jetway logo folder. And here are the you know the 400 and some textures that I have done already. I'm going to look for Los Angeles and I'm going to delete or I'm just going to pass it over to this folder that I have for backups. Okay. And that option is not there anymore. So now if I do a restart code and rebuild the airport cache, it's going to take a minute because the way that the FS Dream Team does the sceneries, the whole scenery runs with a cold which is kind of kind of scary to me because i hate the cold but in any case it works fantastically well the, the result is amazing and so see now the logo has disappeared and now gsx went when the gsx went kind of crazy and just added the logo that it blank you know it left it blank and he, and he just added the first logo that he found i don't know using what criteria but if we want to use this new logo that we've created, we're going to go to the specific jetway that we want to customize. And in my case is the outer jetway, which is the, the two tunnel upper deck jetway. And we're going to, instead of looking here, because we're not going to find any more Los Angeles here, you see airport Los Angeles is not going to be any more available because I've deleted the texture. So we're just going to press those three buttons and we're going to add this PNG that we created, okay? And saved it with Paint 3D. We're going to go like this. It's going to ask you uh, this, which is something that is used is used for the, for the textures of the ground uh, vehicles, but we're not going to deal with that as, as of now. We're just going to do the jetways. You can choose any one. It has no relevance for the logo of a jetway. We press OK. And you see, we get the logo right here and we press apply and voila, we get the logo. Now, regarding the size of the logo, okay, uh, FS Dream Team wanted to come up with a better, uh, imp with, with a better size sizing of the logos for this release, uh, but they didn't want to delay it anymore. And I, I totally understand 
uh, I think that the update was due and uh, it was about time to publish it and so be it. So uh, Umberto promised me that in the in not so uh, they're gonna work they're working on it and they're going to come up with an update that these logos are going to be looking the same uh, or as good in one jet way as the other. Why do I say this? Now, if you look at this, you if you look at the jetways, let me open the configurator and let me show you. If we go by the inner and we're gonna customize the jetway. Now, if you see the size, we're gonna move the logo, the jetway, so you can appreciate what I'm telling you. Okay. Now, the only thing as of now that I complained a lot to poor Umberto, who you see the size of the logo uh, it's not it's not nice i mean it and it and it's kind of crazy because it depends on the jetway model the way that the lo logo behaves is completely erratic i mean this logo in real life it would take approximately this proportion and since the jetway is similar to a four by one it's probably longer but you don't need to cover the whole jetway but you can do much better than this because this logo can go further to the north further to the south it could expand to the north it could expand to the south and then of course sideways and you can have something that looks nicer as it does in here and even this one could become even a bit bigger and it can also be behind the bars it doesn't matter it also because once you expand the jetways the, that logo is going to behave funny anyway so uh, as of now you can only have nice behavior of the logo sizes on these upper decks and on some of the uh, uh, low nose wheel i don't know the name of it it's always so long and so complicated this if i ch switch the inner okay let me switch this one to this logo to this jetway right here okay if i apply it to here you're gonna see that First of all, it went crazy, and then you're going to see that the size of the logo is much better. So they're working on it, and it's going to be a point that the logos are going to have the, the same, uh, I mean, uh, the same proportions as in the, the size of the jetway. It is not today, but it's going to be here any moment now. So uh, this is about it. There's nothing more to the logos. You can do the same with uh, with the ground forces is the same system you just look for delta logos or an airline logo and you can apply it to the ground forces using this button right here you can uh, do the same here and i've created los angeles uh, logo for the handling troops and i'm doing the same for the vehicles okay and I'm going to tell you this one is going to be red because I like red. It's my favorite color. Okay. Now, if I ask for the ground forces, um, I don't know if I did that right. I'm not very familiar, to be honest, with uh, ground vehicles because I don't I don't pay my, much attention to customizing the jet the the um, vehicles because the <laughs> it really takes so much small space on the vehicles that you kind of pretty much appreciate so i don't waste much time on that i do it more on jetways than anything else but yeah of course you've created a new logo that uh, you could uh, apply it on vehicles okay so this is about it this is uh, all you can have to know need to know to create logos but it is important when you're sharing a gsx file uh, for example cartina files v5 they come with logos and uh, when you go to let's say cartina file of uh, los angeles precisely you have a glass version you have a metal version and look los angeles is a v5d which means is a v5 that comes with logos it comes with a, with a new pushbacks and it also comes with some uh dynamic lights that i created for this uh for this uh for this scenery okay and uh, if you go to the Cartina files and you go to the dynamic lights, you go to Los Angeles 
and here you have some installers uh, an installer that will help you to install the the dynamic light for los angeles but for that you need my library of textures and effects and so forth now i've seen an error here that i'm going to remove because los angeles uh, dynamic lights are within the folder of dynamic lights but you see now in um, in los angeles when you share and you, when you import one of my configurations before you could only find this file here with a any file but now you also need to uh, add this texture which of course is within oops within hold on a second the jetway logo texture okay if you want to share uh, a catering and a handling i've also created today with you the texture for los angeles for the vehicles of los angeles and the catering of los angeles okay so uh, this is it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you like it say like if you don't like it say you don't like if you want to subscribe subscribe and if you don't want to subscribe don't do it <laughs> cheers mates